Welcome to Unit 4 in Wildlife of North America. This week we're concentrating on smaller mammals, not smaller groups, but these are physically smaller mammals and they're very abundant. We're looking at the rodents and the rabbits, hares, and pikas. Lagomorphs and rodentia are the two that we're looking at this week, and they're very closely related, as you can see. Um, rabbits, hares, and pica, the lagomorpha, all, all of these, including the rodents, are primarily herbivores. Uh, the rabbits, hares, and picas, uh, the picas are really small, cool little dudes. Um, they are fairly rare. They live at high elevations, and the coolest thing about them, I think, is that they actually cut grass leave it out to dry, and then store it for the colder months. And they're, they're really, when you see their picture, they're very cute. Um, rabbits and hares you're familiar with. Um, these, all of these, and including the rodents, have very high reproductive rates. And in the leopardae, we're looking at the hares and jackrabbits and the cottontail rabbits. We're also looking at one European species which is very invasive in some parts of the world and in some parts of the United States. In terms of, let's go back, if we go back to the family tree, and you'll notice I'm at the Smithsonian's Natural, National Museum of Natural History of the North American Mammals. Rodents are the most common of, in terms of numbers of species, of all mammals. They're, they make up something like between 40 and 42 percent of all the species of mammals. They tend to be smaller than the lagomorphs. Um, they still have very high reproductive rates. And in this group, we're covering uh, the squirrels here. Um, the, some of the kangaroo rats, I think, are in our, our list. Pocket gophers, the beaver, second check mark there, uh, rats, uh, mice, of course, and voles. Um, porcupines, there's only one species in North America. Well, there are actually two. One is in Mexico. And that's basically it in terms of what we are covering. And this is your assignment for this unit. You are to create a website on a specific rodent. And it's not working very well here today, but if you click, for example, on one of these families at this website, you can then go to, like here are the genus of deer mice and it will give you little um, data sheets on information on each with their uh, range and a little bit about their life history, which is kind of handy. And it's not going to the database this morning for some reason, which I don't know. But if we look at the table of contents for this week for the uh, content guide, You'll see the introduction, this video is going here. Um, the Lagomorphs, and I talk here. You'll see that I give the um, characteristics of both rabbits and hares. All right. And then I go through the different families. Here's the pica. See how cute they are. Um, and talk about each of the ones that we talk about. Um, if you want to. One of the comparisons that you need to be aware of this week is the comparison between rabbits and hares. And this will help you identify some of them. Um, it, it is a little difficult sometimes <clears throat> to tell the difference, but I think you'll you kind of get it after a while. Hares tend to be bigger. They have, tend to have bigger ears. Um, I, I was going to say that they tend to live in less hospitable places, and that is true in some cases. Here are some terms that you need to know, precocial and altricial. Um, altricial means that the young are helpless at birth. 
usually born with their eyes closed and naked. And precocial means that they are ready to go, that they are not maybe able to take to completely take care of themselves, but they certainly are able to leave uh, the nesting place very early on. <coughs> Excuse me. The other groups are the rodents. And if they hear, I give the key characteristics of rodents. Um, their dentition is a little bit different. Both of these groups have no canine teeth. They have uh, enlarged incisors that self-sharpen um, because they gnaw plants. Some eat wood, of course, as you know. Beaver, porcupine um, are capable of, you know, chopping wood, essentially. And um, so they're going to have more complex digestive systems because they have to digest this. A lot of them um, practice coprophagy in that they eat the food, the herbs, and, and then they defecate it, and then they eat their feces, and basically is a method of redigesting. Rodents, here's a comparison of rodents and lagomorphs. For rodents, their young are all altricia, where lagomorphs, they're mostly um, precocial. Not all of them, remember, but most of them. And then I give the families of the rodents. Your assignment is to create a website. So by now, you should have uh, signed up for uh, a rodent. Clicking here. Uh, in the learning guide, there are directions for the website assignment. Here, pictorial kind of thing tells you how to log on and uh, website guidelines, suggested organization, and uh, the grading rubric. I also have a sample website that I created. It is on Nutria, uh, which is a uh, invasive species imported to the United States. It's actually from South and Central America. And you can see how I've organized mine. Uh, make sure, of course, that you do citations. If all of the information is from one place, then you can put it at the bottom of the page. Feel free to embed, which is very easy to do, um, video if you wish, but your whole site should not be a video. You should still be covering this. And this is much like a presentation, if you were given a, a kind of presentation with pictures. I that's about it for today. I don't think I have much else to say. Uh, you'll notice that there is a quiz this week. The quiz is on the artiodactyla and the parasodactyla. So enjoy. I'm looking forward to um, seeing your websites. And I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, let me know.